My name is Sean Armstead from Phenomenal Fitness, and I'm here to present to you joint mobility work. Joint mobility is necessary, or the work, or to work on joint mobility is necessary because joints get less mobile, therefore less functional because of postures, sustained postures of sitting, inappropriate movement patterns in terms of how you walk and run. These particular mobilization moves that I'm going to demonstrate one video at a time are centered on the walker and the runner. And I learned these from Gary Gray at the 2012 Gray Institute of Functional Transformation gift gathering one that just took place. You work these mobilizations or, or, or the stretching and the moving of the joint in the, in the angle complex, the subterral joint, and the metatarsal joint occur in all three planes of motion. The sagittal plane, front and back, the frontal plane side to side, and the transverse plane rotational. And that's how our joints and our body functions anyway. So here we go. So in this position, like, a, like the uh, Achilles stretch is common, except I'm going to drive with the knee, and I'm just going to do three to five. Now sagittal, front arm, reach over and leave with the foot of my off leg, and it's affecting this foot and ankle on this base leg, my right leg, right foot and ankle. And then now it's a frontal plane, and then the transverse plane rotation is like this. So you want to have discipline throughout your body and be key on moving and mobile, therefore mobilizing the target joint. In this case, it was the ankle complex, ankle and foot complex, and as a result of the way I was moving front, side to side, and rotation, it was also affecting my hip too. Excellent mobilization for the foot and ankle complex, and you get some good stuff in the hip depending on your tightness or lack thereof in the hip. So Sean Armstead from Phenomenal Fitness, thank you.